Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name's Chris, got another gear video for you today. We're taking a look at something else that I reckon really hits the, the ideal point on the cost performance curve. So um, getting the most value for your money when it comes to camo apparel, any sort of tactical gear. There isn't a massive amount to say about this actually, but I, I just really wanted to feature it because of everything I've ever bought there was any sort of camo clothing or probably any tactical gear really i think this gives you the absolute best value for the money you're spending by a, probably a far margin of and of anything else i've seen out there on the market as well it's uh, it's an incredibly strong option so this is the skd tactical uh, enhanced bdu this is the gen one shirt they did produce some uh, some gen two stuff but at the time of filming they seem to have rolled that back and they're they're now producing this cut in various other multicam patterns. So they've got the original, they've got Tropic, Arid, and Black as well. So what do we exactly have here? As you can see, it's pretty much an ACU cut or field cut shirt. On the surface, really nothing outstanding about it. Where it gets impressive, in my opinion, is the price you pay for the construction of the materials. We'll cover that in a, in a moment. We'll go quickly over the features, just for those of you who might not be familiar. So we'll start from the sleeve end. You've got a pretty conventional cuff that just with velcro do have inclusion uh, of an elbow pad pocket opens with hook and loop down there fit um, generally neoprene type uh, flat elbow pads in there you've got your bicep pockets open at the top loop fields on the arms pretty standard stuff outwards facing chest pockets decent amount of space in there loop fields for name identifiers patches whatever if you don't want those just unpick them take them off the main closure on the front on this model i think all the models they're offering now is just hook and loop so it's nice and flat and slim so if you do put an armor carrier over the top of that you're not going to get pressure points uh, where there's buttons pretty conventional cut there's no extra like panels and stuff sewn into it but it, you know it, it works it, it fits pretty pretty you know nicely as long as you get you know go by the sizing on the website uh, you've actually got a mandarin type collar so try and demo that here so you can lift that up if you choose close it up and then you've got your extra velcro at the top to fully cover the neck from from slings from uh, uh, wildlife plants etc etc all symmetrical with the exception of one small feature you've got a little pass through in the top of this bicep pocket for something like sunglasses or a pen to go in there so why is it such good value for money this is 5050 Nyko, this is not polycotton, and it costs around $70, $75. Yet it's made in the US. It's the ripstop, genuine article, multicam fabric. Uh, I don't know if the weight is maybe slightly different. Uh, there's no way of actually finding out, really. Um, but as far as I know, this is exactly the same multicam you're going to get with Cry, Arc'teryx, Beyond. Anyone that's making a Nyko uniform, same fabric. And of those other brands, the Arc'teryx is crazy money, the Cry is way cheaper if we're talking the Field shirt or the Recce shirt from when it's Arc'teryx. But even the Cry is double the price of this. But it's the same fabric. This is made in the US by a contractor to the military. Is it sewn quite as immaculately? Is it quite so fitted? Does it have the same features as Cry? When you're wearing it, is there gonna be a noticeable difference? Not really. When you're actually running around and doing stuff, whether you have this on or cry or Arc'teryx, I, in my experience, it, it matters a lot less. When you're sitting there and looking at it and analyzing it, I think you notice the differences more. When you're doing things, personally, I don't, I don't find it so noticeable. Stitching wise, for example, double stitching down the sides of the sleeves where the two pieces of fabric join, double stitching where basically any piece of fabric joins down the sides, uh, up on the, on the yoke area here around the shoulders, double stitching around the bits of loop areas on the top of these pockets. I mean, yeah, maybe on Arc'teryx you'll get like triple stitching, but you get to a point where you're just getting diminishing returns. And this, this is why I say this shirt hits that, that ideal point on, when it comes to cost versus performance in that you gain very little with Cryo Arc'teryx performance-wise. You gain something, um, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be a bit better made, a bit more features. Uh, no denying that but you will pay a fortune more comparatively speaking i still think crying they, they do great stuff 
But if you want the absolute best bang for your buck, getting proper 50-50 ripstop Nyko mil spec fabric, no melt, no drip, made in the US for half the price of a Cryfield shirt. I mean, I feel stupid sometimes buying Cry's because you just think, well, this makes so much more sense. In many ways, it really does. So I'm, I'm gonna leave a link obviously down in the description to where you can look these over. I think if you want a multicam pattern and you want a shirt, I don't think you can beat this. And I've spent a lot of years looking at a lot of different manufacturers and the, the apparel they put out. And for value, this can't be beaten that I've seen. I see a lot of Chinese crap that costs more than this, that's made of knockoff multicam fabric, some horrible polyester crap that's not even the real pattern. You can get poly cotton blends of genuine multicam, but it's not as good as Nyko. For, for various reasons, it, it fades faster, it's, it's less wicking, it, it will melt in a flame hazard situation. It tends to be heavier for the strength, if you know what I mean. Um, so Nyko is, is really the way to go. Uh, it's for any sort of temperate climate. And yeah, like there's a lot of Chinese crap out there that costs very similar or the same or even more money for knockoff fabric, horrendously poor stitching and all these other issues that it'll have made you know obviously made in china to me there just isn't a competition as far as a, sh a field cut acu cut shirt actually goes it just, it just isn't out there you can maybe save like 10 15 dollars going with proper or something perhaps or true spec but they tend to actually be very similar prices for not quite as good construction and, and again there's a lot of the, the knockoff airsoft gear out there that will cost similar sometimes even more depending on the shop because they know that some people don't actually know what they're buying and they will just charge whatever the hell they want for really low quality goods. Whereas this, it's got everything going for it. The stitching, the fabric, where it's made, good feature set, nothing amazing, but it does everything you need. It's got plenty of pockets. It covers, it's a shirt. For you guys in the US, highly, highly recommend checking this out. Um, even international, uh, again, if you order some other stuff from SKD, it makes the shipping a bit more palatable, shall we say. Any questions at all about this shirt, any other camo, get them down in the comments. I will get them answered. Let me know what you're running now, whether this would have been a better value compared to what you're currently running or what you're wearing. Or any other thoughts related to camo and sort of the value and cost wise of cost versus performance with this sort of stuff. Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, much appreciated. All the other social media links down there. I do the, that stuff a lot more than I do YouTube, so please check those out if you're into this sort of stuff. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you coming by. I'll see you next time.